Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Basui. Today I'm going to be talking about the correlation between um, headaches and uh, the eyes. Frequently, I see patients being sent to me by their family doctors to rule out um, eye strain as part of their headaches when they complain. And uh, the first thing the patients most times they ask me when they come in is, um, I only told my family doctor that I have a headache. I don't know why he's sending me to you. For those of us that have worn glasses for a very long time, we don't need to be told that there's a correlation between um, headaches and the eyes. Because um, even when there's a change in your prescription, the first thing that you notice is um, um, headaches or eye strain. Um, there is a particular uh, case that um, stands out, and that's why I decided I was going to do this um, video. Uh, a few weeks ago, I had um, a family doctor called me and said, um, Dr. Obasi, I have a patient here that's complaining of um, severe headaches and the headache is getting um, worse on a daily basis. Headache has been going on for about uh, two weeks. Uh, can you see the patient today? So I said, um, I'm running behind already but, um, and uh, we're closing in an hour. My other doctors are also swamped. They are also running behind. But um, if the patient can wait, uh, I'll, see, I'll see her. So I said, send the patient down. So he did. Patient came in. Uh, after seeing the other patients, um, I told her to come in. So while she was, in my, in, while she was on the chair this time, I was asking her about, um, trying to know about the headaches. So I said, um, how long has it been going on? She said about um, two weeks. But it's getting worse with every passing day. So I said, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1, insignificant, 10, very severe headache, how much will you rate it? She said, Dr. Basui, 10. Like, come on. So I was joking with her. I said, come on, it cannot be 10, and uh, you're just coming in. She said, no, I'm serious, that she was serious, that the, um, the headache um, is about 10. But the thing is, um, the reason she, uh, she couldn't come earlier is because um, Fridays is her only day off. And um, the bills have to be paid. She's a single mom with four kids. Bills have to be paid. So what she did um, in the interim was to keep dosing herself with um, Advil and um, Tylenol. So I was like, wow. So I told her, okay, put on your glasses. Uh, let's read. Vision was um, blurry a little. But the blurry vision was not enough to explain the severity of the headache. As she described it. So I knew something else um, was probably wrong. Of course, she, uh, her glasses was about two years old. So she was also waiting for her insurance to kick in before she could um, replace her, her glasses. Obviously, uh, I understood where she was coming from based on, uh, on the financial situation. Now, um, because of the complaints, so I said, that, let me do what we call a competition visual field test. Visual field test, which is um, comparing my uh, peripheral visual field with hers. She looks straight into my eyes while I bring my fingers in from the sides. Right eye, then left eye. I realize on both occasions that um, on the temporal side, my fingers have to almost come in like this before she could uh, see my fingers. Then I did the other eye. My finger again also had to come in almost this close before she could see my fingers. Which means her peripheral visual field was highly compromised. And that is um, one of the things that you see when there's um, a pituitary tumor or um, a brain aneurysm where there's a mass compressing on uh, the bifurcation of the optic nerve, which is the optic um, chiasma. So, and, um, so that's a bitemporal visual field loss. So I decided I was going to do an actual visual field test. So I told one of my staff, run a field test for me. So as soon as I did the confrontation visual field test and um, it showed a bitemporal visual field loss, I knew this was probably a case of um, brain aneurysm. So I told, I called the family doctor and said, um, I was going to send that to the image right away. So the family doctor said, okay. 
So in the interim, I said, let me round off with the patient that I was seeing before uh, doing the referral, send that to the uh, image. So while I was with the patient inside, I had a big fall. The patient fell down. I said, what happened? He said, he hit me on the head. Who hit you on the head? She was a little conscious. She couldn't tell me. She just kept saying, he hit me on the head. So that's by itself... Uh, was almost a confirmation of my suspicion that um, this was um, a, a case of brain uh, aneurysm. Luckily enough, my clinic is in a medical building that has almost um, 30 uh, medical doctors. So I was able to get a few of them to come in. Uh, while they were all uh, trying to uh, assess the situation, uh, within five minutes, we had um, the ambulance and the, uh, the paramedics arrived. So they ran a couple of tests on her and said that they needed to take her to the emergency. So they took her away. I did what I was supposed to do. Then we, we shut down for the day. The first thing I did the next day, as soon as I came, was to call her, call her number. So and, um, the person that picked up the phone happened to be one of her daughters. And uh, she said, uh, Dr. Basui, thank you so much. Mom had to be uh, taken into surgery yesterday as soon as she got to the image. So what happened? Said so they confirmed she had a brain tumor. Think about it. If she had waited a day or two later than the time that she came to, the, uh, to see her family doctor about the headaches, she would have been gone. Bills have to be paid, I know. But sometimes we also have to... Um, Prioritize our health. If anything had happened to her, those kids will still need to be taken care of. The bills will still have to be paid. So I believe um, situations like this should probably have been uh, treated differently. One day of... Um, taking time off work for medical reasons would have saved the situation. Instead of dosing uh, yourself with um, uh, Tylenol, Advil, and all the analgesics, one day off work could have um, made a difference. But I also understand her situation. Sometimes your hands are tied, but I believe um, probably that was why, because her creator must have been on her side, knowing that uh, her hands were tied. Situation was probably beyond um, was beyond her control because um, ideally, two weeks of uh, such severe headaches with the brain uh, a brain aneurysm, she could have been easily, easily, easily gone. So I think we should all um, learn from this uh, situation, and because um, it could happen to any of us, it could happen to our kids, it could happen to your spouse. So I think this is a, a life um, lesson that we should all um, learn from and uh, probably handle it um, better in case it happens. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Obasi. If you think um, there's a better way or there are better, better ways that the situation could have been handled, please leave um, your comments for me in the comment section. I really appreciate it. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Continue to share our videos. We appreciate you all. Thank you.